So if we really wanted to, we could switch to a Deku to make this go a little bit faster. But Mikao is a little bit too tall, so you're basically running <laughs> if you're in here. So I just would prefer to just swim. It's been a while since we've swam as our own young child self. It's interesting. It's very interesting. So we can go through the waterfall, have a little bit of fun. And over here, I do believe, uh, is the frog that I made note of a while back. Looks just like the one that we've seen before. So how's it going, little buddy? Ah, Tonjiro, it has been so long. It has brought you all this way. No. <laughs> all right, so anyway, he's going to be exuberant, and he's going to use his powers of persuasion and teleportation to return back to the mountains. All right. What kind of a frog have you ever heard of being in a mountain? I don't know. But anyway, I will meet you guys. Actually, do I, I don't even need to meet you guys. Pointless cuts are pointless. We can just talk, have a casual conversation. We don't need to, like, ugh, I don't know, make these segue so awkwardly. Right? I can just, like, be here and then be good. Right? I don't know. But um, we're now making our way back here because guess what we get to do this time, you guys? Um, well, first, let's switch our things and hold on. I need to grab. Oh, jeez, I lost my stylus. That's not good. That typically happens. No wonder why Nintendo sells them in like packs of eight. It's like. You got an eight-year-old child, you're gonna need, like, at least 12 of these. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just use our fingers then, and there we go. Switch on over to Mr. Deku Scrub. We have not seen you for a very long time, sir. And now we can play our lovely, uh, whatever song it was called. The Sonata of Awakening. So let's do it. Hooray for... I guess quicker animations, I suppose. Is my my game Oh my god, my capture is still like being so weird right now. What is going on? I really hope that this isn't showing up. It's being very choppy right now. And it's never done this before. I have the task manager opened and it's apparently like going 10 megabytes per second on my stupid hard drive. Oh, that is a little bit irritating. Oh, something we should take note of. This is the first time on camera we're going to be re-entering a dungeon that we've completed. If you walk up to the central heart-shaped pedestal, you have challenged my mighty blade, courageous traveler of time and space. If thou art fearless, stand before me that I might witness thy power once more. Wow, that was kind of a weird way to explain things. Cool. You can go straight to the boss fight and proceed to kill him with all of your current equipment and hearts and everything. So you don't have to go through the entire dungeon again. All you have to do is just step through that, fight through the boss, and the swamp will be cleared again. Spring will come to the mountains and etc. It's actually really nice and convenient. So anyway, we're going to go over here. Also on the bottom map, apparently you lose your uh, dungeon map, but it will tell you where everything is anyway, including stray fairies. Very useful. It'll tell you what straight fairies are even in, you know, things, you know, things like that. So, um, anyway, we need to find our way to that second boss again. And to be perfectly honest, I don't remember where it is. I completely forgot. I know for a fact that at least, uh, let's go ahead and light this up so we can, you know, again bring lovely. Oh god, that was a bad idea. Bring, uh, death to these strange lily pads. There we go. You guys have become good again. <laughs> and then we can jump. And I do believe it might actually be over there. I think it is, actually. So we can't even get over here unless we open that up. Yeah, so it would be over here. Huh. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Episode 13, you guys. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves lots of fun here. Alright, let's see. And I think it's in that room. I feel like it is, because that feels like such a weird room for it not to be in. Uh, so let's probably just... Wait. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the eyeball? It's right next to <laughs> your aimer. Alright, sweet. Oh, can we jump that? I don't think we can. It would be a bad idea to try. No, we can make that. We could totally make that. <gasps> I just did a jumping mini game, and I win. Okay. Okay, so maybe... Hmm. Oh, this might be the one. This might be the one. It perhaps isn't. So I hope you guys have been having a perfect week so far. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today is uh, the 9th of a April, August. And uh, life has been pretty decent for us. Hey, asshole. Here, this is what we're doing, all right? We're doing this. <laughs> um, and life has been all right. I've been 
ridiculously sick. I've literally tried to start this recording at least several times at this point, and it's to the... Oh, I'm so sorry if my voice sounds so weird, because I think I minorly explained this in stretch mo, but basically, uh, things were not looking too great uh, for my voice, like, early on here, so... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but it is a little bit better now. Um, I have no idea what it is, like what it is, if it's in the air or what. But it's just my nose. It's just, it, oh my god. It's just being so weird. I apologize that it is very unpleasant to listen to. But uh, hopefully it clears up pretty soon because I've gone through at least two solid, just paper ass paper towels, just like getting the drips out. And, I. Uh, it's not looking too great, so... Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? Yes, yes, yes. Go and teleport with your buddies, and all will be good. So, we have the ocean frog, the swamp temple frog, and the frog from the swamp. So, we are looking pretty good to be finished off. Now, there is one more frog that we need to attend to, and... He actually is residing in the city of Clocktown. And we're going to need to go there ASAP in order to, uh make things work for us. And I think after that, we are almost good to start heading to Kana Canyon, which is like, really awesome. I don't know, I, I, I think I said this before, but I'm so excited for just Ikana Canyon and just everything that happens after the Great Bay Temple, just because it's so somber and just so, like, dreadful. It's like, oh my god, the end of the world, and, ugh, it's really cool, and I enjoy it a lot, but... For the most part, we have quite a ways before we're done with this, and I think this series is actually turning out longer than the N64 version, which is so unusual because I would not say under any circumstances I'm lollygagging in this project. I'm straight up, like, doing regularly, right? Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm making significantly less progress per video because I think my Majora's Mask LP was only 50 parts or something like that. And that was including not a time limit. That was including like 50 minute episodes. So, uh, I'm... It's a weird kind of thing, but that's alright. Anyway. Whew, let's use our Song of Soaring to head on back to lovely uh, Mountain Village. Actually, Snowhead? No, we don't need to go to Snowhead. Snowhead has something else for us. But like I said, we don't need to go there. And now I'm really curious where my stylus is. I don't really use it that much in this game, but when I'm doing menu navigation, by god, that lag is delicious. Um, I still would like to be able to use it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I've been waiting for you, Don Jarell. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. Why would I forgive you for thinking that I lost weight? That's a great compliment. <laughs> As you can see, Don Jarell, and the long winter has ended, spring has come to mounds. Let us begin our course. That was beautiful. The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. Aside from Steve in the back, he was kind of just twiddling his ass just as before. But you know what? He made us come together in such a way that it was not possible before. So here, take a piece of heart. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, you guys are so nice. So after all this time, we're now finally able to uh, make the frogs happy. Yeah, so by conducting the frog choir, we got ourselves a notebook. A notebook. A piece of heart! Yeah, it's time to go to bed soon. I actually took a sleeping pill, and I think that's actually what's causing me to not, uh, like, need to sleep all that much. So, hooray for that. Um, anyway, have we already talked about what happens after you brought spring to the mountain? Like, you don't need anything, any reason to go up there. There's actually a path that you can take to go up there instead. And again, there are some weird tattle things going on here. And now that I see this, I'm pretty sure we've probably done this. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, Jesus, I did not know these things were here. Okay, get out of here. I've come to exterminate all of you? Don't do that again. Okay. So for whatever reason, yeah, there's a, a gossip stone right there. And hooray, and amongst other things. There's probably something in here that I don't remember. But if you want to go visit the shrine, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so let us regain our bearings. <laughs> that was kind of a weird noise. <laughs> um, so we need to head off in front of the Goron racetrack. And I do believe that actually would be over here, correct? Yes, this- no, that's not the way we want to go. I don't want to go that way. 
Not yet, anyway. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go run over here. Don't let this... Is this... This is back to where we started, isn't it? Okay, well, let's just quit <laughs> jerking around. It has been a while since I've recorded this. Um, or played this, rather. I haven't... It's been almost two months, actually. Because there was a point where I, this was the only thing I was playing, and then I was just... I just kind of got sick of it, because it takes so long to edit these videos. I don't know if you can see all the little minor, I don't know, cuts and things, but there's quite a lot here, so. Anyway, because this area is now filled with water, we can enter this area and uh, get ourselves a nice little reward. It's a piece of art. We've collected three so far, and there are also a couple of these. Man, hopefully the Goron Elder wasn't under here while this thing was coming loose. Why are there still things here? Why? Por qué? Can you, can you explain this to me, video game? Is there, is there some sort of, I don't know, something, I don't know, logic you can imbue to me? Anyway, we've got the red rupee, hooray! Now let's leave. The red rupee that we deserved. It's so weird that they put just red rupees everywhere. I don't know. I mean, I think we need, how much is it? 5,000 rupees saved up in our bank, and we're almost there. We haven't really been trying for, for cash all that much, but just know, you do get a special reward for 5,000 rupees, and um, it's just a good thing to keep in mind that if you're not looking out for them, well, there are many ways you can farm rupees, so don't be alarmed, my good friends, my good madams and sirs who may or may not be watching. Okay, so Mountain Village, let's just go straight ahead, like we said before, on our way to Snowhead, and it would be probably better to just warp to Snowhead. That's okay, we're not going to do that. Because there's one last thing here. You can do this, I believe, after having done something regarding something else. Whoop. Um, basically, there is a nice little uh, thing that you can collect here after collecting the hookshot, I might add. But we do need at least the lens of truth to show us there's a path. There is a path of floating sentient ice ahead, and uh, this is good for us because while there are- Ooh, don't do your jumping nonsense, Link. Oh my god. How's that guy also not freaking out? He's like, what does that guy get to just stand on ice and I have to fly? This takes a lot of effort, guys. Ugh. Okay, I really don't like the jumping on ice nonsense. So let's go play our song once again. There we go. Hooray! And with this, our little buddy comes to us in spades. Or should I say in straws? Yeah. So we can now head on over there and look at our surprise has been spoiled. But by doing this, ladies and gentlemen, we've unlocked our 15th heart container with our fourth piece of heart. We are closing down, you guys. It is amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's get out of here. Um, now that that's done, I'm trying to decide what would be a good course of action to do here. Let's see how long I've been recording, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead to Milk Road. That's just like an easy kind of simple place to go. Okay, so... <gasps> Oh my god, okay. Oh Jesus, I thought I was not recording audio there. That would have been, oh, devastating. Because Audacity came up and it was like, Welcome to Audacity! But it, I was only like, oh my god, it was scary. <laughs> I was like, no! Re-recording things like Zelda or Stretchmo is the worst. I haven't had to do either yet, except for that really long process in Zelda. But I just mean only the audio. I've been pretty good about keeping that pretty safe. So I've been recording about half an hour, I'm really tired, I gotta go to work at 3 and it's almost 7, so I'll leave it here. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will finish off the final day, and um, it's not gonna end well, I'm telling you right now. Hope you enjoyed it, I'll talk to you guys next time. God, I love this game so much, you guys. Oh.